How's it going guys and welcome back to another Godot video and today we're going to be talking about player camera checkpoints so that's it first let me update you on what I did off camera so I basically go, went ahead and switched out the texture pack to make a simple level like this and I just basically modified the time maps here added all the collision shapes as well for all of the platforms and I added a background here which can be done by adding a sprite 2d and going into the ordering and changing this to something negative or basically behind everything not really the best background strategy it doesn't have any animations or anything like that but it should do for now so with that said let's go ahead and actually get started on the player camera now the camera basically makes sure that the camera scene is actually zoomed into the player and it's always following the player now there are two ways to do this either in the player scene itself we can add a camera here or in the level scene or not the level scene the world scene we can add a camera as a child node for the player now i recommend doing it in the world separately because later on we're going to be adding limits to the camera which we're going to be talking about in a future episode but for now let's just go ahead and actually add the camera so we're going to add a child node we're going to search up for camera 2d we're going to go ahead and click create and as you can see it's all the way up there we of course don't want that we want it to be a little bit down but and the way to do this is to actually change the offset. So, for example, if I change the offset to 100 here, as you can see, the camera kind of moved a little to the left here. Now, the camera is that pink thing that you're looking at here. And what we want to do is we want to actually increase the zoom to something like 2.5 so that the camera is a little smaller and that it's zoomed in on the player a little more. And that will make it much easier to actually go ahead and modify the position of it. Now, I want it to, of course, be centered on the player. All right, and there we go. As you can see, I've modified the positions a little bit. I've even changed the zoom to be a little bigger because, as you can see, the player is kind of big compared to the platforms here. Not that much of a problem, but, you know, just to make the aesthetics look a little better. I know if we run the game, as you can see, yeah, it's a little too zoomed in. I guess we're going to have to zoom it out a little bit. But there we go. As you can see, the camera works. It follows the player. And that's really what matters. You know, what? let's go back to something like 4, for example there we go this is a little more acceptable and of course there is a bit of camera settings that you can tweak here and there for example we have the drag we have the limit which is basically when the camera will actually stop moving not like that uh when the camera will actually stop moving so let's say i want the limit to be here i take the coordinates to be here for example when it comes to the left side in the camera there we go in the left side we can actually take the limit here of course we don't want to add a limit now because we don't have really anything uh but yeah when we have an actual playable level then we can actually go ahead and add some sort of camera limit but yeah there we go we have a basic camera setup and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the checkpoint now let's say we want a checkpoint here and then we want so that if the player dies we teleport him back to this position here first let's actually add the checkpoint flag which is going to be where we actually set our checkpoint now there are two ways to do it of course we can do it inside this scene and add a basically area 2d to detect the collision as the flag or we can do it in a separate scene now when you want to add a game object take this as a tip if the game object is going to be used in multiple levels make its own scene but if the game object is going to be used in like two levels make it inside the level scene itself now we're going to be using the checkpoint flag obviously in a lot more levels so with that said we're going to be creating a 2d scene here and we're going to be calling it a flag we're going to change the type to be an area 2d because of course we want to detect if the player collides with it. Now with that said, we're going to go ahead and drag our textures here. We have our flag textures. I want it to be a little animated, so we can add an animated sprite 2D. Uh, we can add a brand new animation. And we can just call it the idle, whatever. And we're basically going to add these two things here. Just a simple animation of the flag waving, like this. And we'll do complicated. We can make it speed like this. We can make it start. We have our flag set up. Now we need to, of course, get the collision shape 2D. We're going to make it a box like this. And we're going to scale it depending on the size of the flag. So there we go. This is it. Now, of course, I made it so that the actual red part doesn't count. So that's how we can go ahead and actually save the scene in the scenes folder as the flag.scene. And there we go. We have a simple flag set up right like so. And now what we want to do is we want to actually go ahead and make some simple check here. So we're going to do if the layer dot y coordinate is greater than and we're actually going to go into the world scene here we're going to see what is actually considered as a low coordinate so as you can see we can just do the sprite here okay so if it's greater than 
let's say 500 500 is a good y coordinate so if the player y is greater than 500 we're going to teleport him back to basically we're going to create a new variable so let's say for uh i don't know death underscore position and we're going to set it to the current player's position for now and we can actually figure this out if we go into the world scene we can go into the player and in the transform there we go the position is 18 10 so we can go here and we're going to set it to a vector 2 of 18 and 10 there we go this should be basically it and there we go now we're going to be setting the player's position position is going to be equal to the death position there we go and my bad actually it's not player dot y it's actually position dot y and then basically we're just going to set our position equal to the death position there we go everything should be back to normal so now if i actually go ahead and run the scene itself as you can see if i fall off i get teleported back to the first platform wherever i go what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the flag scene here and we're going to add a script in the area 2d and now we can go ahead and create the code here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of replicate the spikes here so we're going to go into the flag we can go into node signals and once body entered we want to connect to the this here we're going to go back to the spikes i'm going to say if the body is in group player then what we're going to do is we're going to take the player we're going to set the dot death underscore position equal to our current position so the flags position basically so with that said we can actually go ahead and click save now we can go into the world scene like this and we can go into our scenes here and put the flag scene onto the world scene here we can actually uh where is it uh right up there and now let's actually go ahead and test it out so as you can see if i go ahead and fall we can go back here if i go ahead and touch the checkpoint here as you can see now if i fall down i get teleported straight into the flag here there we go we have a simple checkpoint system using the flags and we also have a simple camera system so with that said i hope you learned something new in this tutorial if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video